Okay, so just a warning before we get on the way with the video, there is a small amount of butchery in this video, um, so viewer discretion is advised, um, and it is quite graphic because it is butchery of an animal. So if you're easily offended, you might not want to watch it, but if you are interested in it and want to see it for educational purposes or whatever reason, then uh, yeah, be advised there is some butchery in this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy so it. So he's lucky to get a couple of uh, spare hours this evening, quite randomly. And uh, we're just sighting in. We've got a target down there, three targets set up for us, uh, just to sight in on. For, was it metres or yards here, Chris? Metres. 30 metres, 35 and 40 back there, along that line. So, just sighting it in quickly. 410 and we're just getting sighted in and then I've got a special thing to show you in a little while and uh, yeah we're obviously sighting in because we're gonna have a little hunt tonight and there's something special to show you on the channel tonight hopefully it's gonna help elevate my channel a bit it's not mine it belongs to El Pig but um, we're gonna get some good stuff using it. Uh, I've taped up my gun tonight because it's a bit wet, a little bit drizzly. It's forecast for a lot of rain. It's a little bit drizzly. Another example of why air guns are so useful in a sort of farm area because they're nice and quiet. A couple of horses there, there's three horses in that field. There's two air guns going off here. Yeah, fair enough, they are silenced, but they still do make sound and the horses ain't bothered. So air guns definitely have their place in the shooting world. Anybody tries knocking them. All right, on with the rest of the video. So, here we have the 410 Air Arms S410 TDR in 177, sub 12 with a night sight mounted on top. Now, I'm gonna try something here, Chris. Try and go via the camera so we can see what you see. Right, I'll go. So that was Chris shooting through my camera. I put my phone in front of the night sight screen then, so, and he shot via that. So we leave that there for a second. Right, so we've got the night sight. TDR S410 and we've just taken this Parsons rabbit with it. I believe it's a Parsons rabbit. It's a black rabbit and it was out in the wild out of my stables out there It was seen All the way up the back of the field. You can't see it now, but it was spotted all the way up the back It was a stalk all the way along the fence line and it was taken with one shot with the night sight and that's the first one of the night that is the sun the sun was just going down I mean it's been a good sort of 20 minutes since it was taken you can see a little bit of red in the sky up there now and here we go so this is just a sign of things to come we've got some good shooting to come now gonna get some decent cameras for some long range footage and then we're gonna get this recording so you can get actual gun cam footage this bit of equipment belongs to El Pig and everybody that sees it is jealous of it. And so are you, mate. You've watched it and you can see what you can do. We're not joking when we say that. You and Air Arms, winning combination every single time, mate. It's good stuff. Right, this could get quite graphic, obviously. This is butchery, so graphic warnings and all that. But, um, and Chris isn't our best butcher. Dan's our best butcher, but he's not with us this evening. Uh, but as you can see here, yeah, we, we're doing it. We don't mess about on this channel. It's been shot, it's being butchered, and it's being it. When are you gonna eat that? Tomorrow probably? Whenever we get time, mate. Yeah, tomorrow or in time. the week. Looks like another big black rabbit. Yeah. He smiles away though. Yeah, good far away. <laughs>
So here we have rabbit we've taken. Another headshot. It's a nice one, blood out here and that. It's a nice size rabbit. Another one for the pot. Taken with the right sire. And the air arms S410 TDR in 177 sub 12. What distance would you say? 30, 30. About 30, 35 metres. Another good rabbit there. Another one for the pot. Let's get a couple more. So we've had another rabbit. This one's a buck, we believe. We think the other one was a female. Uh, distance was about 34, something like that, metres. Taken again with the air arms, TDR S410 in 177. Sub 12 foot, it's another fine specimen, another good one for the pot, and it was the night sight as well, took it with it. Um, didn't manage to get any footage via the night sight, but I'm working on that guys, bear with us. It's the first night out proper filming with the night sight and taking rabbits. It's taken a couple already in the night sight, but um, we're really getting the swing of it now. You know what it's like when you get a new toy and you don't quite know what it's like. But we're really starting to get the hang of it now and it's proving useful because already tonight you've seen two rabbits and like i said before it's another fine specimen well there you have it folks thanks for watching um the footage is a bit choppy um it is getting a bit tricky for me to be filming and shooting with just an iphone um and just me doing the the video work um we're obviously working on this. We're looking into getting more cameras and things like that to try and make the footage a lot better. Um, and bear in mind as well that I do edit this on my phone as well. It doesn't go onto a computer or anything like that. I do this all via my phone. Um, and so obviously it's limited. What I can actually do is quite limited. But um, thanks for watching anyway. Like I say, uh, we've got a couple more bits coming up. Some some of my videos are going to be a bit choppy like that lately because um, I keep keep taking footage and not being re not really getting good enough footage to make one whole video out of it. So um, I'm going to be like linking a few different bits together um, and just making sure that I get to share what we're getting up to with you guys it, it might not make sense a lot of it but you'll get to see some pretty cool stuff some pretty cool shooting um a bit of archery uh, a bit of mole trapping things like that just different bits and bobs and uh every now and then just you know other little customization jobs and things like that and just little bits and bobs but like i say it's all going to be popping up randomly here and now so um thanks for watching again guys i hope you're all good and can't wait to watch your stuff cheers see yous